Hello everyone, welcome back to my new episode on Excel Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to use the SUMIF and SUMIFS function in Excel with a simple example. The SUMIF function is a built-in function in Excel that is categorized as a math or trig functions and it returns the sum of cells that meet a single condition. Criteria can be applied to dates, numbers, and text. The SUMIF function supports all logical operators and wildcards for partial matching. Before we move to the example let me explain to you this table. Here I have a summary table with a monthly product sales summary, where the sales happened monthly for each product. So the question is, how I can get the total sales value for each month regardless of the product type. So here we are talking about the single criteria it is month. Hence we needed some if function, to add all numbers in range cells based on one criteria. So let's see how we can apply this function with the given data to find the solution to our question. First, go to the formulas tab from the main menu and click the math and trig option, then scroll down to select the sum if function. The function argument window will appear, this will guide us to complete our function arguments. First, select the range of cells that you want to apply the criteria against. Then select the criteria to determine which cells to add, here I'm selecting my criteria as January. Finally, the cells range to add together, then hit OK. Now you can see we have got a total sum of $72,000 for January month. I will fix the column by adding dollar sign in the f In my case, I want to fix the month and sale column. To add dollar sign I will select the column range from formula and press F4 key from the keyboard. Now you can see the month and sale column didn't change but only the criteria have changed while I am dragged down. So the total sales value in both cases is the same $170,000. Now let's move to the SUMIFS function. The SUMIFS is a function to sum cells that meet multiple criteria. SUMIFS can be used to sum values when adjacent cells meet criteria based on dates, numbers, and text. From my second table here, I need to get the total sales value for a particular month and for specific product. So go to the formulas tab from the main menu and expand the math and trig option to choose SUMIFS function. With the function selected, the argument window appears, first select the range to be summed. Then the first range to evaluate. And finally the criteria to be used on range 1. My second criteria is the product, so let's continue the same as we did for range 1 criteria and then hit OK. Now you can see the SUMIFS formula is automatically created with the sum of $37,000, it mean I have a sales value of $37,000 from the product 1 in January. Let validate the sum from filtering the data table. Here I will file the product 1 sales value for the month of January. You can see the total sales value for the product 1 in January $37,000. Before I apply the SUMIFS function to the other cells, Let's anchor the columns which we needed to freeze while dragging to the adjacent cells. As we did earlier, press F4 key from the keyboard to add dollar signs in the formula. You can see here we need to fix three columns, such as month, products and sales columns. Since I will drag the formula for one particular product, the criteria cell also to be anchored, so I will use dollar sign for criteria 2 as well. By pressing F4 key from the keyboard to add the dollar sign to the cell references. Now you can see, only the criteria 1 cell has been changed from the formula others remain the same. 
Let's do the validation test for the product 1 sales value in the month of February. You can see there is no sales has been done for the month of February, hence it's return 0 sales value. So let's continue to distribute the function one by one by dragging the formula to the adjacent cells. But still we need to adjust the criteria cells in the formula as per our table matrices. However manually it can be done as I am doing here. If you know any other methods please comment in the comment section below. Finally, we have completed the formula distribution for the SUMIFS function, and you can see the total sales value for all cases are the same values. It means we have done perfectly with the required formula. Our basic SUMIF and SUMIFS formula tutorial is complete. See you next week, thank you for watching, and drop a like and leave a comment. If you are new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Have a nice day.